Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day you have given us. Anoint us with your Holy Spirit so that we can hear your voice clearly and make us understand the verse which we are going to read. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Let us read 2 Kings chapter 3. Now Jehoram, the son of Ahab, began to reign over Israel in Samaria, the 18th year of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, and reigned 12 years. And he wrought evil in the sight of the Lord, and not like his father, and like his mother. For he put away the image of Baal that his father had made. Nevertheless, the cl he clung to the sins of Jeroham, Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. He departed not from them. And Mesha, king of Moab, was a sheep breeder, and rendered unto the king of Israel an hundred thousand lambs, and an hundred thousand rams, with the wool. But it came to pass, when Ahab was dead, that the king of Moab rebelled against the king of Israel, and king Jehoram went out of Samaria at the same time, and numbered all Israel. And he went and said to Jehoshaphat the king of Judah, saying, The king of Moab had rebelled against me, will thou go with me against Moab to battle? And he said, I will go up, I am as thou art, my people as thy people, and my horses as thy horses. And he said, Which they shall be go up? And he answered, Their way through the wilderness of Edom. So the king of Israel went, and the king of Judah, and the king of Edom, and they made a circuit of seven days' journey, and there was no water for the host and for the cattle that followed them. And the king of Israel said, Alas, that the Lord hath called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moab. And Jehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord, that he may inquire of the Lord by him? And one of the king of Israel's servants answered and said, Here is Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who poured water on the hands of Elijah. And Jehoshaphat said, The word of the Lord is with him. So the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat and the king of Edom went down to him. And Elisha said unto the king of Israel, What have I to do with thee? Get thee to the prophets of thy father and to the prophets of thy mother. And the king of Israel said unto him, Nay, for the Lord hath called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moab. And Elisha said, As the Lord of hosts liveth, before whom I stand, surely, were it not that I regard the presence of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, I would not look toward thee, nor see thee. But now bring me a minstrel. And it came to pass, when the minstrel played, that the hand of the Lord came upon him. And he said, Thus saith the Lord, Make his valley full of ditches. For thus saith the Lord, Ye shall not see wind, Neither shall ye see rain, yet that valley shall be filled with water, that ye may drink, both ye and your cattle, and your beast. And this is but a light thing in the sight of the Lord. He will deliver the Moabites also into your hand. And ye shall smit every forbidden city, and every choice city, and shall fell every good tree, and stop all wells of water, and mar every good pieces of land with stones. And it came to pass in the morning, when the meal offering was offered, that, behold, there came water by the way of Edom, and the country was filled with water. And when all the Moabites heard that the king were come up to fight against them, they gathered all who were able to put on armor up and upward, and stood in the border. And they rose up early in the morning, and the sun shone upon the water, and the Moabites saw the water on the other side as red as blood. And they said, This is blood. And king was surely slain, and they have smitten one another. Now, therefore, Moab to the spoil. And when they came to the camp of Israel, an Israelite rose up and smote the Moabites, so that they fled before them. But they went forward, smiting the Moabites, even in their country. And they beat down the cities, and on every good pieces of land, cast every man his stone, and filled it. And they stopped all the wells of water, and felled all the good trees. Only in the Kirhar Shed left they stones, how bet the slingers were about it, and smote it. 
and when the king of moab saw that the battle was too severe for him he took him with 700 men that used swords to break through even unto the king of edom but they could not then he took his eldest son who should have reigned in his stead and offered him for a burnt offering upon the wall and there was a great indignation against israel and they departed from him and returned to their own land amen now let us read oshia chapter 10 israel is an empty vine he bringeth forth fruit unto himself according to the multitude of his fruit he hath increased the altars according to the goodness of his land they have made handsome images their heart is divided now shall they be found faulty he shall break down their altars he shall spoil their images now they shall say we have no king because we fear not the lord what then should a king do to us they have spoken words swearing falsely in making a covenant thus judgments bring it up like hemlock in the furrows of the fields the inhabitants of samaria shall fear because of the caves of benevin for its people shall mourn over it and its priests shall rejoice on it for the glory of it because it is departed from him it shall be also carried unto assyria for the present of king zareb ephraim shall receive shame and israel shall be shamed for his own counsel as for samaria her king is cut off like the foam upon the water the king pa- the the high palace also of even the sin of israel shall be destroyed the throne and the thistil shall come up on their altars and they shall say to the mountains cover us and to the hills fall on us o israel thou hast sinned from the days of gibea there they stood the battle in gibea against the children of iniquity did not overtake them it is in my desire that i should chastise them and the people shall be gathered against them when they shall bind themselves in their two furrows and ephraim is like a heifer that is thought and loveth to tread out the grain but i passed over upon her fair neck i have i will i will make ephraim to ride juda shall plow and jacob shall break his clothes so to yourself in righteousness reap in mercy break up your follow ground for it is time to seek the lord till the come and rain righteous upon him ye have ploughed wickedness ye have reaped iniquity ye have eaten the fruit of lies because thou didst trust in thy way in the multitude of the mighty men therefore shall a tumult arise among thy people and all thy fortress shall be spoiled as shall man spoil Betrabel in the day of battle the mother was dashed in pieces unto her children so shall betel do unto you because of your great wickedness in a morning shall the king of israel utterly be cut off amen now let us read matthew chapter 12 verses 22 to 29 then was brought unto him one possessed with a demon blind and dumb and he healed him in so much that the blind and the dumb both spoke and saw and all the people were amazed and said is not this the son of david but when the pharisees heard it they said this fellow doeth not cast out demons but by belzebub the prince of demons and jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them every kingdom divided against itself it brought to desolation and every city or house divided against israel shall not stand and if satan cast out satan he is divided against himself now shall then this kingdom stand and if i by belzebub cast out demons by whom do your sons cast them out therefore they shall be your judges but if i cast down demons by the spirit of god then the kingdom of god is come unto you or else how can one enter into the strong man's house and spoil his goods except he first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house amen let us pray Heavenly Father thank you for helping us to read your heavenly words and thank you for making us understand the words which we are 
read today make it a blessing for the people who are going to hear it be with us and guide us in jesus name we ask amen god bless you